Last year, I ran something called the year-end sale. I called it the year-end sale because, well, I wanted to call it the annual sale. Anytime anyone does the first annual anything, I'm immediately skeptical. First annual? You don't know. So now it's a year later, I'm doing it again, I feel like I've fulfilled my obligations and I can confidently call this the Rob Nguyen Photography 2022 Annual Sale. So that first collection of photos was themed around places that were meaningful to me. This year's collection centers on film cameras and film photos. Apart from that pre-digital camera time when taking photos and taking film photos were synonymous activities, I first started working with film in 2013 when my sister and brother-in-law gave me a Canon AU-1 program 35mm camera. I used it over the course of a year and for reasons I don't truly know then set it aside, only to unearth that camera along with an Olympus Stylus 120 and a few rolls of unexposed film when I got curious about shooting film again during 2020. Not coincidentally, that was a time when finding stuff to do within the confines of your home was the thing to do. As someone who doesn't make sourdough bread, film photography became my pandemic hobby of choice. Since then, I've grown to appreciate the immutability of film, by which I mean that, unlike digital photos, it resists excessive manipulation. With our digital raw photo that's terribly unexposed, it's surprising how much you can get back from that image that otherwise would appear nearly completely black. With film, there's only so far you can go. You didn't get an in-camera, and you can pull up the shadows as much as you want, but you're not going to get a viable image out of that. Certainly, this is a self-imposed restriction. Why not shoot digital and give yourself the best possible chances for making a photograph you like? But for me, I found these constraints liberating. I still shoot digital a ton of time, but with film, I do appreciate that when you're shooting, you have a moment in which you can try to get a properly exposed photograph. And the characteristics of that photograph, they're going to be limited by the camera you use, its settings, and the film that's loaded into it. I think that constraint is empowering. It helps me recognize that composition and proper exposure matter far more than how far I can push an image in Lightroom. And it also makes the particular circumstances of making a photograph jump out to me so much more. A roll of Fujifilm is going to produce different photos than a roll of Kodak. The AE-1 program I was gifted with will produce different photos from the cheap plastic camera I found in my childhood bedroom, whose origin I still don't recall. This is not to say that digital images don't register the various apparatuses that produce them, only that film photography has certain characteristics baked into it, and as a bonus, generally, I find myself liking how it looks. The particular colors and image qualities that these cameras and films bring to the table, and my enjoyment in using them, This is what I hope this collection of photos might share with you. So, until December 31, visit my store of its link below and in my bio, and use the code LONGLIVEFILM at checkout to receive 25% off your purchase. I really enjoyed making these pictures, and I hope you enjoy bringing them into your home.